Hi, and welcome to GameWolves.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Hand and Foot. Hand and Foot is a rummy style card game played with between two to seven players. You'll need five 54 card decks. So that's five decks that includes the Jokers. In this game, aces are high and twos are low. Hand and Foot is typically played as a partner game. Partners sit across from each other at a table. Choose one pair to deal first. They must shuffle the cards, then one person takes the deck. The dealer proceeds to deal each player a stack of 13 cards and pass them clockwise until each player has a hand. The other partner then does the same and deals each player the foot. These two stacks of cards must remain separate. The remaining cards are put in the center of the table and they form the stockpile. The top card is flipped over face up beside it and this starts the discard pile. If the card happens to be a three or a joker, which are wild cards, it is buried back into the stockpile and a new card is flipped over. The foot. The foot stack remains face down on the table and players can now pick up their hand. The play begins with the person who dealt the hand. The deal passes left and the game consists of four deals total. Melding. The objective of hand and foot is to get rid of all your cards by forming them into melds as in traditional rummy games. A meld is formed with three to seven cards of equal rank. A seven card meld is called a book or a pile. Books are squared up, unlike a fanned meld still in the process of being added to. The card on top of the book indicates the kind of meld, which I'll discuss in a moment. The red card is at the top if it's a clean book, and a black card is at the top if it's a dirty book, and a joker is at the top for wild books. Typically, one player has the completed melds in addition to red threes in front of them, and the other has the incompleted melds. The cards are placed face up on the table in front of the player. In this variation of Rummy, melds belong to partners as opposed to individual players. This means either player in a partnership may add to any of the melds they both are creating, unless the meld has reached seven cards already. Players score points for cards that they meld and lose points for cards left in hand. The play ceases once a player has gone out, which means that they have played both their hand and foot in totality. There are three conditions players must meet to satisfy before going out. Condition number one, the partnership must have completed two dirty books, two clean books, and one wild book. Second requirement, the player that did not go out has at least picked up their foot and played at least one turn from it. The third requirement, you must receive permission from your partner to go out, meaning meld the remaining of your cards but one and discard the last. If your partner denies you, you may not go out. Let's cover red and black threes. Melds are formed with cards from ace to four. Threes, however, may not be melded in a normal way. Red threes count for a player if they are laid down on the table as a meld. However, if red threes are caught in the hand, it counts against them. Red threes should be immediately placed face up on the table and a new card must be drawn from the stock. Red threes may be found in your hand, drawn from the stock, found in the foot, or picked up from the discard pile. If your opponents go out, which means getting rid of all their cards, before you have grabbed your foot and there is a red three present, that three counts against you. Black threes. Black threes can only be used to block the next player from picking up the discard after you discard. Black threes left in your hand count for minus five points on your score. Black threes cannot be played, only discarded, meaning they can't be melded together. Let's talk about twos and jokers. Twos and jokers are wild cards. Wild cards may be used to substitute any card in a meld. Granted, there are twice as many natural cards in the meld as there are wild cards. A meld may be made entirely of wild cards though. This type of meld is required before going out and winning a particular deal. So for example, if you have a meld of fives and you're using twos or you're using wild cards, you must have at least twice as many fives as there are wild cards. Let's go over the types of melds. A clean meld has no wild cards present. Dirty melds have at least a single wild card and no more than one if the meld has less than six cards. Wild melds are only made out of wild cards, twos and jokers. Let's go over the value of each card. 
black threes are worth five points, four through sevens are worth five points each, eight through king are worth 10 points each, twos and aces are worth 20 points, jokers are worth 50 points. Now let's talk bonus points. Both teams can collect bonus points in addition to the card values. Red threes count as 100 points towards your score if they are on the table and 100 points against your score if they are in hand. Each clean book is worth 500 points. Each dirty book is worth 300 points. Each wild book is worth 1500 points. Going out gets you 100 points and each red three is worth 100 points. Meld minimums. Each deal poses a total point value of the cards which make up the first meld created in partnership. So on the first deal, the first meld you lay down has to be worth at least 50 points. On the second deal, the first meld has to be worth at least 90 points. On the third deal, at least 120 points. And on the fourth deal, at least 150 points. Red threes and complete book bonuses don't count towards this. Here's how to play. Play begins with the player to the left of the dealer and passes clockwise. Play continues until someone goes out. Before your turn, red threes must be placed face down on the table. The number of red threes placed on the table must be replaced by an equal amount of cards drawn from the stock. Taking turns. A typical turn consists of 1. Drawing two cards from the stockpile. Second thing, melding cards, either starting a meld or adding to an existing meld. Third thing, discard a single card to the top of the discard pile face up. Red threes drawn from stock must be directly placed face up on the table and a new card must be drawn from the stockpile. You may not start a new meld and meld cards on your turn. You must choose which action you wish to do, one or the other. If you do not wish to draw two cards from the stock, you may draw seven cards from the discard. The whole pile may be collected if it contains less than seven cards. If you wish to draw from the discard, these are the following requirements. One, the top card of the discard cannot be a black three. Two, you must hold two cards of equal rank to the top card of the discard. Three, at least three cards must be immediately melded. Two of equal rank already in hand in the top of the discard. So for example, if the top card of the discard pile is a six, you must have at least two sixes in hand, and when you pick up the discard pile, immediately play the sixes on the table. To complete your turn, you discard a single card to the discard pile. The first meld set down on the table must meet the minimum meld value requirement. This is the total sum of the value of the cards played. Multiple melds may be started to reach this point requirement. If you're picking up from the discard pile, the three mandatory cards to meld may count towards this stipulation. However, the other six cards drawn do not count. Cards in the initial meld may be wild cards. Partners are not permitted to have two incomplete melds of equal rank. A book must be completed before a new meld of equal value is started. The foot. After you get rid of all the cards in your hand, you may pick up your foot and continue playing as usual. The foot may be picked up in one of two ways. All cards in the hand are melded, the foot is picked up and a single card from it is discarded. Or, all but one card from the hand is melded, the last card is discarded, and the foot is picked up. This version of hand and foot, there is no penalty for discarding a wild card in order to get to the foot. Here's how to end the game. The play ceases when either a player successfully goes out under the stipulations discussed previously, or the stockpile is depleted and players do not wish to draw from the discard pile. If your partner does not permit you to go out after melding, you must have two cards left, one to discard and one to continue playing with. At the end of the game, players score their books and melds, including bonuses that apply. The team with the greatest number of points after four deals wins. And that's how you play hand and foot. Thanks for learning with us on Game Rules, and make sure to check out GameRules.com for all things Game Rules. See you next time.